guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about Crisis Text Line and the work I do with it at school and at, at work. And so I thought I would um, explain it in this video because I don't actually have the time when I'm at school and at work to fully explain it in, in the depth and detail that I would want to. So I thought I would just take this time to explain it and give you a more detailed overview of what I do and why I love what I do so much. Um, so this video is kind of just going to be a, a little bit of a, a talk about Crisis Text Line, what is Crisis Text Line, what I do with Crisis Text Line, and how you can get involved, and how maybe you can use the services yourself if you feel like maybe you're in crisis one day and you just need to talk to someone because that's really what we're here for. We're just here for to be open, to be open shoulders and open ears and just, you know, everybody needs someone and sometimes we feel like we don't have anyone. And I remember being in low points in my life when I was going through periods of depression and I really felt like I had no one. I felt like, you know, no one's here for me. So I reached out to Crisis Text Line and that's kind of how I got started with it. And I texted in, I googled like crisis text lines, suicide hotlines, things like that because I really was down in the dumps, um, for lack of a better saying, that's like a cliche, but whatever. Um, and so I, I texted into them and I actually texted into them probably like three or four times in, in this um, probably two year period, but probably in like a, a month or two was when it got really bad and I um, texted into them. But they were awesome. I was able to just talk to someone. And the people I was around at the time in my high school, um, they they just weren't there for me. And so Crisis Text Line was, was there for me when I really needed someone. And so once I got out of the, the pit of depression I was in, uh, I ended up moving. And um, I'm in a new state and I'm in, I'm in kind of a we're in like a new life essentially right now and um, I've gotten a lot happier and so I was scrolling through my Twitter feed one day and I saw that Crisis Text Line was accepting applications so I applied I thought why not try and I got accepted for training and training took eight weeks and then um, I became a crisis counselor so after training I've been a counselor for about a year now um, and it's been an incredible opportunity for me. I've been able to see it from both sides now. I've been able to see what it's like to text into Crisis Text Line and really not know if I would be able to see tomorrow because I was in that much of pain. And now I'm able to help people just sitting on my bed in my pajamas looking like this with my dogs just sitting here on my computer helping them. And it's so simple. It's it's just being an open voice for someone. And, like, letting them vent to you about their frustrations, that's an amazing thing. It has opened up my life. And who I am as a person has changed so much because of this, this organization and what I do. I heard, like, why I chose to do it. Um, what do I do? Like... How do I do it? Um, what are like the logistics involved? I sit here at my laptop, with my laptop, I guess you could say, and um, for four hours a week, two, two hour shifts, but for four total hours, I log on to a platform with other crisis counselors. Um, it's all virtual on my computer, and there's a queue of waiting texters. Um, and it's those people that text the 741741 number. And I click help the next texter once I log in. And I'm able to just automatically connect to them via my computer, wherever they are in the U.S. We also have a, a Crisis Text Line Canada that just launched, by the way. But that's besides the point because I'm talking to people who are in the U.S. really. Um, but now I'm on my computer and I can just talk to them wherever they are in the US. So it's it's a commitment, it really is, but it's worth every every late night, every time I come home from school and I'm exhausted but I still have to do it. It's worth all of that because at the end of my shift, when I have someone that tells me that I help them get through their thoughts of wanting to hurt themselves or 
I help them just feel better. Or I have had someone tell me that they just needed someone to talk to and then they felt like they were understood after talking to me. And those, those words aren't something that you hear often. And people need to be, people need to feel like they're understood. And a lot of time we don't feel that way. And I think we underestimate the power of kindness. And I think that that's really what Crisis Text Line boils down to. There's a lot of fancy schmancy stuff when it comes to the technology we use. And we, we capitalize on the fact that we're in a technological society now. And that's really cool. Don't get me wrong. But we need to realize also that this is all about the fact that we're helping people. And we use the fact that almost everyone nowadays has a smartphone and we're using that to like bridge the gap. The the people that are like sitting in class and they just don't know what to do, they can like text us while their teacher's talking. No, I'm not saying that's okay, but if if you're in pain, you know, do what you have to do. And get help. Like that's amazing to me. If they're afraid to go talk to someone, they can talk to us and we can help them bridge that gap. That's amazing. I kind of talked about what I do and how it kind of works. I kind of want to give you guys the opportunity to post any comments you have or um, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to post this on my social media. Um, I just want to get the word out to those around me because I, um, I'm a student in college and I want this, this, I want people to know that this is available because with light of what's happened recently, people don't know that we have services like this available, especially services like this that are amazing. And um, I'll be frank, this crisis text line saved saved my life um, for a good period of time. And having people to text just to talk, it's, a, it's an awesome thing. So I'm going to share the links. And if you want to apply to volunteer like feel free because we are always looking for volunteers. Our the 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 amount of texts that we have had text in keeps increasing. So the more volunteers we have, the better. Um, our supervisors are trained well. They they have at least a master's degree in psychology. Um, I think they might. It's either psychology they have it's either psychology or social work that they have to have a master's degree in to to be supervisors and the counselors are trained for a certain period of time in order to make sure that they're they're okay to be on the platform so the people that you have when you talk, come in and text us we are trained and we do know how to respond in these situations and then also I want you guys to know that if someone texts in and they are exhibiting signs that aren't that aren't healthy for them and, and they're they're saying things that we are concerned about we we take that into consideration and we figure out what would be best for them and we focus on if we need to do something called an active rescue or find ways to safety plan with them to make sure that they're okay um, this text line is very modern and it's and it's focusing on how we can help these t these people with what we have now because mm -hmm. like life is just like evolving all the time. And so all of these resources that we have, we have to capitalize on them. That's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I'm going to share this stuff that I've been talking about. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, this is something that I'm like super passionate about. And I plan on like doing this for the rest of my life. So just let me know if you have any questions.